Hi, everyone, and thank you so much for tuning in to Business Conversations with Shubhika. Today on our show, we have someone very special. Our guest today is Saba, and she is a birth doula. No amount of introduction can do justice to the person she is and the kind of work that she does. Hi, Saba. Thank you so much for your time and coming on to Business Conversations with Shubhika. How are you doing today? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. So this is a very interesting topic, Saba, hypnobirthing. And um, we've been following you on all your social media platforms and we couldn't wait to finally host you on our episode. So let's get into it, Saba. So Saba, what is doula support? Doula support is basically, the concept of a doula is to provide three things, which is emotional support, informational support, and physical support to a person throughout the final stages of a pregnancy, during labor and birth, and in the postpartum period as well. Now, doulas have always been around. If we look at our mums, our grandmothers, they all had doulas in the form of family, uh, women that were supporting them uh, during this period. Um, over time, birth became a little bit more medicalized. Women started giving birth in the hospitals. Doulas were phased out. And that's starting to change again. And doulas are coming back in the picture. Now, we don't um, carry out any clinical tasks. We're not medically trained. We don't offer you any opinions or tell you what you should do. Right. We're literally just there to serve you and give you the birth you want. So when I said the three things, physical support is in the form of massages and comfort measures to make mm -hmm. you as comfortable as possible. Okay. Physical support is, um, sorry, emotional support is things like just giving you that moral support, giving mm -hmm. you that tenderness, that mm -hmm. love, those hugs and holding your hand, you know, little things like that. And informational support is basically evidence-based information that you need. Uh, because at any point in time, if you want to make any decision, right. you need to have the right kind of information that's backed with evidence, right. latest research, right. in order to be able to make the decisions of what you want throughout this period for yourself. Okay. So it is really important for women in Dubai, right? Yes, it is even more so for women in Dubai, because a lot of women and a lot of families over here are, are very far away from their own families, Correct. especially during COVID-19. We right. have found so many people who are giving birth and unfortunately, they don't have the support of family. So that's why we're there to make sure that they feel supported every step of the way. Lovely. Is a doula only needed for natural birth or even in the case of a C-section? Oh, absolutely. We can, we're there to support any kind of birth. So whether you have an elective cesarean, whether you have an induction, whether you have a natural birth as well. In every situation, it's, we're there to provide you with all of those things because in any case, you're giving birth to a child. And you need that support regardless. You should, we, we always say you should never leave a woman who's giving birth on her own. She needs to have people around her supporting her at all times. So yes, we support all kinds of births. Beautifully said. So does a woman need a doula if she already has a midwife or a doctor? This is a question that I get asked a lot, especially from the partners um, who say, you know, why need a doula if you've got midwives, you've got hospital staff who are there to um, take care of everything. Now, midwives and doctors, nurses, they have a very important role to play during birth. Right. And they need to make sure that everything is going well and mm -hmm. you're safe, the baby is safe, and they're medically trained for all of the things that they need to do. But at the same time, you have to bear in mind that you know, when you're giving birth in a labor ward, there will be other people as well at the right. same time giving right. birth. And a midwife has to make sure that she's checking on all of the women. Yeah. So her attention is divided. Right. She cannot be there for you from start to finish. Similarly with the doctors, they usually come towards the end when just the baby's just about to be born. Mm -hmm. With a doula, it's a more personalized um, approach towards birth. Right. It's a familiar face that you have because we've already established that relationship right. from uh, the weeks leading up to the birth right. with you, with your partner. We all sit together and act as a team to make sure that everybody's on the same page. Everybody views and all the things are aligned and we know exactly what you want. So when you have that familiar face along with, we, we usually say that doulas, midwives, doctors, we know birth. We've studied it, we've trained for it, but your partner knows you. So all together, that makes the perfect team. So that's why doulas are really important because we kind of take the load off of the midwives because they know that 
the doulas there with the, with the mothers at all times, and they can also make sure they can check on everyone else. Okay, so do you sometimes also get asked um, if husbands are really needed, or would you just be overshadowing overshadowing the husband? Um, yeah. What role uh, does the husband play then? Oh, we get asked that a lot, yeah. and we really make it a point to make that very clear to the husbands, to the partners, that we are not there to take over the role because they have a very important role to play. And a lot of times they are very surprised because they say, what me? What, what, what do I have to do? Okay. Um, but, you know, in many situations, you have to be the voice for the mother because she might be focusing on her labor. She might be focusing on being in the moment, being in the zone. Um, and there are times when maybe certain decisions need to be made, mm -hmm. and that's when you are the voice for her. Right. And there are there's that connection. You already, you know, if that's your husband, mm -hmm. if that's your partner, you already have that connection. You have that comfort level. So that's one of the reasons why we're not there to take over your role. We're there to complement you. Mm -hmm. And at times, mums have these birth wishes as well, and mm -hmm. things can get pretty intense in the room. Mm -hmm. And you know, emotions are there as well. We're kind yeah. of there to kind of make sure that. Um, to neutralize uh, the intensity of the room yes. and to make sure that we remember all of your birth preferences. In case the, the partner or the husband forgets something, we can remind them and say, remember she wanted this and she wanted that. Wow. And at the same time, labor can take a very long time as well. There's right. no guarantee. Right. So, <laughs> you know, it's little things like, right. you know, if the father wants to go out for a quick cup of coffee, mm -hmm. if he needs to go to the washroom, if he wants to just close his eyes for a little bit, he knows he can do that knowing that there's someone still there at all times with my partner. Sometimes when you get to the hospital, you know, you need to give all the insurance things and you know, the forms and this and that, you know, and at that time, what's happening to the mom? She's on her own, isn't it? Okay. So the dual acts as a bridge to make say, okay, you do the paperwork, I'm still with her and it's all fine. Perfect. That was a beautiful answer and it opened so many... Um, it cleared so many doubts for me in my head. Mm -hmm. You know, that even as women, we have so many limiting beliefs yeah. as to um, giving birth and uh, the pressure of doing everything right. And like you rightly said, we, we go through so many emotions along the way. So. Absolutely. And, you know, at times I find myself even, you know, I do want to make it clear that, you know, there are some couples sometimes who do say, you know, what if we want our privacy? What if the doula is there? You know, but it's important for them to know that if you want privacy, I'll leave the room. No problem at all. And at times, several times I do. And I say, you know, I think you need a moment together as husband and wife. So I'll just wait outside for a little bit and let you have that privacy. So, you know, whatever you want at any point in time during your birth, that's what I'm here to give you. Lovely. Yeah. So when does the journey start? Or uh, right from the beginning of the pregnancy? I would say somewhere towards the middle of pregnancy. Okay. So when you're in your second trimester, leading right. up towards your third trimester, right. that's when you want to start to think about who, who you want to have to support you mm -hmm. for your birth. If you would like to have a doula, I would say interview several doulas, not just, right. and don't stick with one. Right. Because the most important thing is for you to feel completely comfortable. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be in a room where... You, you, don't want, you want to say to your doula, please don't touch me, but you want to think, oh, mm -hmm. I don't want to upset her. You know, so you have to be completely comfortable with your doula because anything and everything that happens or is, is said stays in that room. Yeah. So the journey starts from that time. Mm -hmm. And you talk to them and you explain them everything, whatever the birth options are, any antenatal classes that they might need to have birth choices that they have, birth rights that they have. Right. And then you kind of sit down during meetings, prenatal meetings, and you discuss right. and make sure that it's almost like, I say, like a theater show. Birth and labor is a theater yes. show, and you have to do the rehearsals before that. So, you know, you make sure that everything that all three of you are on the same page and you know exactly what the mother wants or wishes to have. Then I go on call for my clients when they are 38 weeks pregnant. So at that time, my bags are packed. Yeah. I've got babysitters for my children at the ready. Yeah. The schools are informed. Anytime, 24 hours, my phone is on me for any time that you call and you go into labor. And as soon as you do, that's when my journey begins with you um, of labor support, especially. And that's when I spend time with you and my undivided attention mm -hmm. goes to you up until the baby's born. 
once the baby's born, the baby has had their first feed, that's when I sign off and then I go home. And then I follow up with you with two postpartum visits to make sure that you're doing okay and settling in well with the baby. Lovely. I was just, I'm just so, I'm picturing it all and I'm just so taken in by what you do and the respect that I have for you now after hearing everything is so much more. Thank Sabha. you. Thank you. you. You truly are a superhero in your own oh, way. Thank you. And um, you're making a difference to somebody else's life and you're part of bringing life into this world, which is magnificent. It's a very humbling uh, job to have. Yes. So Sabha, you say you're an advocate for making uh, the right decisions. Mm -hmm. What exactly does that mean? Well, most importantly, it should be an informed decision. That's what we really advocate for as doulas. And that is to basically have all the necessary information that you need before you make a decision. And the reason is because we really want every couple to have a positive birthing experience. That doesn't necessarily mean, we don't have a crystal ball to say, this is exactly what's going to happen during yeah. your birth. It's so unpredictable. Yeah. But what you want is when you come out of that birth, you look back on it and you say, oh, all those decisions were mine. Even if that means handing over your birth to the medical professionals in the case of an emergency. But mm. at least you made that choice to hand your birth over as well. In yeah. other situations as mm. well, you know all the right questions that you can ask, your partner can ask, your doctor, um, your midwives, any tests they want to carry out, any scans they want to do, any step that you want to take. It must be an informed decision, which means you know what the benefits, the risks are, what any alternatives that you might have. What are your instincts telling you? And what happens if you just don't do anything and wait for a bit? Rather than just completely going with whatever is being, you're being told to do, you find out all of that information, backed up with evidence, and then you choose what you think is the right thing to do. Lovely. So there's always going to be um, those questions that pop up. Do I need a C-section? Because I was faced with that as yep. well. Yep. Do you need to do a C-section? Or would it be um, natural birth, water birth? So there are lo lots of options available today. Yes. So many options and that's why every single pregnancy is so unique mm -hmm. and that's why it's important for you. It's very easy to just Google things, but you will not get the correct information. As doulas and as medical professionals as well, we give you all the scientific research that you need so that you know that, okay, this is what the doctors are saying, this is what science is saying and this is what I want to do. And that's specific to your client, which makes a difference. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Because you don't want to look back and have any regrets that you didn't really want something. Mm -hmm. It was forced upon you. It was your choice throughout the whole journey. That's the most important thing. So when I first found out about you and I read the caption, hypnobirthing, I was like, wow, this is someone I need to have a conversation with, even though I'm not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> So tell us, uh, Saba, what is hypnobirthing and, and why is it important? And, and I do see that it is becoming more and more um, common these days. It is. It's huge in Dubai and so many mums swear by it. Hypnobirthing is basically training you to um, using hypnosis to remove the concept of fear and anxiety from birth. And the reason why that is, is because our brain has been trained to fear birth whether it's from the media, whether it's from horror stories that we've heard over the years from everybody. It's mm -hmm. always, oh, pregnancy, great, you're going to have a baby. Oh, birth, oh, that's something you're going to be a bit, that's a bit scary. It doesn't have to be. And that's when a woman goes into birth with fear, then her, her body reacts to the same way. And it doesn't allow labor to progress as efficiently as it should. So when you, it, we usually say your body knows what to do, your uterus knows what to do. It's your mind that you have to convince. And that's why hypnobirthing is ways to teach you how to relax, breathing techniques, how to train your mind through hypnosis to believe that I can do this, my body can do this, and I'm confident about it, and I will be relaxed during my birth. Regardless of the path it takes, you always have some kind of coping mechanism mm -hmm. to deal with the changes in birth, anything unexpected that happens, you're always going to be in a relaxed and controlled state of mind at all times. Lovely. I'm sure this is very comforting to know for all 
um, the ladies who are watching, whether they are pregnant or, you know, along the journey. So thank you so much. So Sabha, what kind of support do women need after they have already had a baby? The postpartum period is mm -hmm. a very delicate time. And yes. it's because, you know, a woman is going through a crazy amount of hormones that have just been through a roller coaster. You're dealing with sleep deprivation. Yeah. You're dealing with a brand new person in your life right. and adjusting to that, those family dynamics. Mm. And there's so much support that you need, right. whether it's breastfeeding support. A lot of women need that mm -hmm. um, support in the form of just taking care of things happening around you. And that's why postpartum doulas are available as well. What I am is I'm a labor and birth doula. Mm -hmm. But then you have postpartum doulas who come in and just make sure that you've got food cooked, that you're taken care of. Hold the baby for a little bit while you go, go and have a shower. Yes. So women who've just given birth really need to be able to bond with the baby, right. spend time, rest, and they need that support around them. And they also need somebody who can understand what they're going through emotionally and mentally as well. Sometimes women do go through baby blues that can sometimes go into postpartum depression as well. So you need to have somebody who can recognize those things and who can ch channel you towards the right sources um, for that kind of support. Yes, I think especially for new mums, yeah. because um, I'll share uh, my experience with you when I had my first born, and she would cry because she had colic, mm -hmm. which I didn't know. And uh, every time she cried, I would think that I'm failing as a mother. And I remember I would just cry to anybody that phoned me. I'd say, this motherhood is not working out for me. I would cry on the phone and say, I'm not ready for this. Yeah. The baby's crying all the time. Yeah. And I remember writing a really long email to my brother when my uh, daughter was two months old saying, I'm going to come work in Dubai, I'm going to, I'm going to work with you and I'm going to leave the baby here with my mom because I didn't yeah. want to do it at that time. I yeah. felt like I was failing miserably. Mm -hmm. But um, along the way, of course, we learn. Had we had the support of a doula where um, we're educated and given the support that we need emotionally, like you rightly pointed out, um, it would have made such a difference to me. That's that's so true. Yeah. And a lot of times it's literally just seeing the mom and saying, you're doing absolutely fine. You're doing a fantastic job. And they just need somebody from outside to come and show them that and fill them up with that confidence to say, oh, okay, I've got this. Okay, I can do this. Because it is, it's very overwhelming. There's so much to learn, so much to do. And when you have the support of a doula to come in and mm -hmm. say, you know, you're doing great. That's, that's exactly what you need to do. You're doing fine. Or just little tweaks that you need to do. That's all it is. Because yeah. mother's instinct is very, very, very strong. We yes. shouldn't underestimate it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Beautifully said. Saba, thank you so much for your time today. You are incredible, to say the least. Thank you. Thank, thank you for you. your time. We've been so happy to be in conversation with you. And we look forward to working with you again very soon. Definitely. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate that you give us this platform to tell everybody about what we can do to support them. Thank you so much once again. So Saba, before we leave, would you like to tell our viewers how they can contact you? I'm sure through this brief uh, introduction into what you do, they will have many more questions than we've addressed today. So how do they contact you? And um, is there anything you're willing to offer for our viewers that contact you through business conversations? Any discount, anything that you can offer, do let us know. And maybe they can send you a DM and, and you can take it forward. Yes, absolutely. They can contact me. They can look at all the packages that I offer, all the things, that, the classes that I offer as well on my website. They can also use Instagram. I've got my page on there and they can contact me through there. I'm more than happy to offer them a free consultation yes. just to see, you know, mm -hmm. if we have that kind of rapport with each yes. other. Yes. And yes, more than happy to do that. And yes, I'm happy to give your viewers a 10% discount on my doula support for sure. Amazing. So for all our viewers, you heard that. If you are planning your pregnancy and you need the support, you have questions, um, our beautiful Saba is offering a free consultation. All you have to do is get in touch with her on Instagram or on any of her social media handles and take it forward. God bless you all and thank you for watching, being the wonderful audience that you are. Don't forget to spread the word, like, subscribe and follow us on all our social media handles. Until next time, take care.